I feel like there's only one way to really get hyped for like a Barbie video and that's like Anyway, if you could not tell, this video is definitely going to be a Barbie themed makeup video. I just went to like a Barbie party the other day. You can check it out in the vlog. I'm feeling a little on theme, you know? The Barbie movie comes out this week. This is in no way, shape, or form anything sponsored to do with Barbie other than I've just always loved Barbie growing up. Today we're going to transform myself into the brunette Barbie. I looked her up. Her name is Skipper. Apparently she's Barbie's younger sister. I'm going to be using this Vava Blue palette today by Morphe as well as the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette also by Morphe. They have very pigmented shades and I feel like for a good pink Barbie look I gotta be very bright and pigmented. Without further ado let's just go ahead and dive right into this. My camera is like set up on the Bible, a daily meditation book, a cute Yoda Star Wars book that Natalie got me in George Orwell's 1984. That is what is holding my camera up right now. I just washed my face, so I'm going to be hydrating it first with this Ultraceuticals Ultra Hydrating Lotion. The packaging, I need to wipe down all my products because my makeup is just like getting everywhere and all over and making everything look absolutely tragic. Putting this literally everywhere, all over. I'm really trying to hydrate my lips. I just got them done like two days ago for the second time. So there's like a lot of drying happening because like it's pushing out essentially where my lip was on the inside. I'm gonna be taking my IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This is what it looks like. This is in the shade Medium. I personally love the feeling of this CC cream. It is so light, but also gives that full coverage look that we all know and love so well. It's been perfect for me, like going out in the summertime, just cause I'm not like melting my face off at all by sweating, cause everything is just so, so hot here. I'm just taking that on just a flat foundation brush and just blending it all over my neck and kind of into my decollete area because I want to keep everything nice and even. Make sure everything has a nice even coating. And even if you want, I recommend taking it onto your ears a little bit as well. I'm now going to be taking my beauty blush, blending everything. But next, I'm going to be taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is in the shade Light 24. And I'm just going to go right under my eyes, as well as like any highlighted areas. And I'm just going to spread this out with whatever was left on. And while I let that sit for a second, I'm going to be taking the Rare Beauty Believe Liquid Blush. I'm just kind of going on my cheekbones lightly with that. If you guys watch my makeup videos, you guys know like I love the same products I very rarely change them this is the Fenty Beauty contour matchstick in the shade I believe it's mocha and I'm just gonna go where I would want to like contour slash bronze my face and kind of just warm warm it up a little bit and then I'm gonna be taking my foundation brush again and just blend this lower section out really making sure I emphasize the shadows that way I get rid of my triple chin I don't eat Skittles or McDonald's no. Oh my god, Kitty's FaceTiming me. Kitty, say hi to the camera. I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> no, I'm not really looking like this. Oh my god, what's up? Cute and then you called me. Yeah. Okay. Could you? Yeah. No, we're playing a cute game of phone tag. Yeah, we are. Look how cute your little stuff. I want to see that other video. Oh my god, no. I am so close to like being done with it. So I'm trying to decide though if I want to like make this weekend's vlog like its own video and then just post like January to May or yeah, June. Sorry, I'm not going to No, you're good. You're so good. Um, so by the way guys, I'm just taking my finger for my concealer and blending it out. That's like the best way I find works. It's just like warm. Mix, mixes well better than a brush. I was thinking because we had so much happen this weekend that would be kind of fun to like do its own vlog and that way I have yeah. two vlogs instead of just one long yeah. one. Because the video is already at 20 minutes. I was gonna say the video is probably like 50,000 minutes long. No, it's so long. You should tell them about that story how we got literally nearly like we died. We oh, we almost long. got kidnapped on Saturday. <laughs> That was like terrifying. No, and then the fact that they were in that video that you said, I'm like, at least we have proof of who they are. I know. I was like, who? I want to know who they are, though. Right, like, who let these weirdos in? Literally. 
Oh my Did god. Did you actually go to the gym or is it not worth it? I mean, it's gonna be really busy right now. It's four o'clock. Wait, really? Yeah, this is like the time when everyone starts to go. Uh. I'm gonna be taking my Rare Beauty light to medium powder. I take barely any because I don't like to wear like heavy powder. I literally just take this fat fluffy brush from Real Technique. I only just set where I put the concealer essentially. The CC cream doesn't really need to be set too much. Like I just set that with like a spray. Okay, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different from what I normally do. So I'm gonna be going in with a little bit more blush. Again, trying to keep the pink theme and just keep my cheeks super rosy and flirty. I'm gonna be using the Pat McGarth Labs shade divine blush how beautiful that is like seriously I'm gonna be taking that with this little fluffy brush just going on my cheeks and then I always love to take my blush to like my temples too because I feel like it gives me like a natural flushed flirty look next I'm gonna be taking my NYX matte bronzer and this is the shade medium and I'm gonna be going with that on this fluffy contouring brush and just warming up myself even more because you know Barbie she's literally like perfect I don't know if you know that about her but, you know she's like always got a nice little tan on unfortunately I'm always indoors so I never see the light of day I from plastic it's fantastic am I right babe so I'm just literally warming every part of my face up that I can with this also gonna be taking this bronzer and using it as a contour for my nose today taking a very minute brush Ooh, my new that was a good vocab word and I'm just gonna give myself a very contoured nose because Barbie again has like a perfect nose so I want to be just like her when I grow up my nose unfortunately has been like broken five times I really need to see someone about that but you know okay so they look a little harsh right now the lines and that's just fine because you know what we're gonna blend it away I'm just blending that shade out on my nose and I give you a slim down nose, babes. So it only makes sense that I have a little high beam on because Barbie always glowing and radiating. I'm gonna be taking my Urban Decay Illuminated Highlighter in the shade Luminous. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. I don't think I really use one besides this. I'm taking this big ass fluffy fan brush and I'm just gonna slather it in there. And then just high point of my cheek and just feather her on. And that's how you get that beautiful high beam. Slay. After that, I'm just gonna take like my pinky, just a little bit on the nose highlight. After that, I'm gonna be taking my Thick It Stick It NYX brow glue and I'm gonna be just combing these bad boys up. I kinda have like a little bit of brow fill in left over from earlier today when I did my makeup. So I'm not really gonna go too crazy on my brows. I'm just kinda gonna leave them like that. But normally, I would fill them in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and that's how I fill them in. I'll not be doing that because they're already where I need them to be. So I'm gonna be starting with this Morphe Va Va Voom palette. It is so cute, just a ton of inks and burgundies and shimmers and just all kinds of fun in here. I'm gonna be going in first with my fluffy brush. I'm gonna be taking this Barbie light pink. Everything's gonna be a Barbie something, just so you know, going forward. I'm gonna start at my crease and just get a nice foundation of shadow going. And I'm gonna extend it out just because I find this really elongates my almond shaped eyes and I just love that like lifted effect. Okay, stunning. So this is where we're starting. I'm just gonna take a blending brush and just kind of even everything out so it's not super harsh. Do you want to get like wild with me? Ready to get a little cray cray? Someone please take my camera from me at any time, seriously. Alrighty, I'm gonna be a little bold here. We're gonna play with this for a second. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Morphe palette. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Dance Party. Does that not sound like a shade meant for Barbie? I'm gonna use this smaller fluffy brush. Oh, it's about to get crazy. I'm gonna keep this very low to my eye and more so like in this crease. I'm gonna blend. Dance party does not play around. Come on Barbie, let's go party. Damn it. We're gonna do a different approach with this actually. I'm gonna use it even smaller fluffy brush. You didn't think I would go there, did you? You didn't think I had one smaller, but I do. We're gonna be very in 
intimate with her over here, defining this eye shape. So I'm gonna take it out. Trust me, it looks a little wild right now, but trust me on this. I just hope this doesn't look like I got into mommy's makeup by the end, like truly. But I got these like cut crease cat eye things going. I'm just gonna blend them quite a bit, especially on this side. This side's really wild over here. I'm now gonna be going back in with my concealer and I'm gonna be cutting my crease ever so slightly. Nothing too crazy because I don't wanna like ruin the wing of the pink that I just did, but we are gonna clean it up. I'll be taking my little cream brush, taking that and then cleaning this up right here, shaping that. With the brush I initially used at the beginning and the very soft pink shade that I used at the beginning, this top one. And I'm just gonna go in and touch up that arch a little bit. And then on my lower lash line, I'm gonna be taking this flat brush as well as that same pink shade from this palette and just going on my lower lash. And then I'm gonna be taking the shade Tipsy Girl out of the Morphe palette, this bright, bright pink. And I'm gonna be going under that on the lower lid. I'm also gonna be taking that shade Tipsy Girl and doing the extension eyeliner underneath and make this like little line with it like that. And then I'm gonna be going back in with that concealer and just again shaping that bottom line that we just did. be taking a flat shader brush and taking this shimmery pink shade in this palette. I'm just gonna go on my inner corners with this. Alrighty, and then just on your typical eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna be taking this very like neutral nude pink shade and just going on the lid with that. And then I'm just gonna blend everything on the top together. And then just to really seal everything together, I'm gonna be taking the shade Certified in the Jaclyn Hill palette and just going on my brow bone as a nice little highlight and clean anything up that I missed. Now I'm gonna be taking my favorite eyeliner. This is the Perfect Precision Eyeliner by LA Girl and it's just a black one. I'm gonna be going into my waterline. Doing my best over here to get every part of my eyeball. How'd I do? I'm gonna say all right, I did pretty all right. I'm gonna be going in with my favorite mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. I love using this one combined with like the Ilia one. It's such a good combination if you have not tried it. Today, I'm just gonna be using the Roller Lash cause I don't have the Ilia one at the moment, but they are like literally a dynamic duo. Alrighty, and then I'm also gonna make sure I go on the bottom section. You could choose to leave the eyes right then and there like that. However, your girl is extra over here and I believe I deserve some doll-like eyes just like my homegirl, Barbie. Even her younger sister, Skipper. I'm gonna be taking the Whitney Houston Matte Collab Collection Lashes. Using the Duo Lash Glue, the clear one. We are officially done with the eyes. I really like the way they turned out. I think they're a little spicy, you know what I mean? I'm gonna be moving on to my lips and today I'm gonna be starting with this Maybelline Color Sensational lip pencil in the shade 110 Purely Nude. Why did that back just pop off? I'm just gonna be lining my lips with this Maybelline pencil. I'm reaching a point in my life where like the nude lip pencils are like pink for me and the brown lip pencils are nude for me, so I don't know what that's about. Finished lining my lips and I'm gonna be taking this Whitney Houston MAC Nippies Rose Frost Lipstick. And this is the most like pink shade I have. I don't really wear pink anymore. I just feel like it's so 2016. Oh, it tastes like frosting and smells like frosting, wow. To be setting everything today, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This has been by far my favorite setting spray that I've been using for years. On end, it's amazing. So this is the final result of the makeup. I hope you guys like it. I think it's kinda like 
cute. It's very like electric. I wasn't really expecting it to go this route, but it looks cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Barbie inspired tutorial. If you guys are just as excited for the movie as I am, then do your makeup and tag me on Instagram, girlfriend, and let me know like what you think you would look like as a Barbie, because this is what I think I would look like as a Barbie. Absolutely. Maybe tanner, maybe slightly tanner, and maybe a bigger ass. I don't know. We'll see. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and stick around for more content. Like I said, I have footage of the Barbie event that Kitty and I went to. Go ahead and go watch the vlogs. Always have my vlogs playlist linked down below, so if you want to go check that out, it'll probably be down there. So hopefully I see you in the next video, vlog, whatever it is I'm doing. I'm always switching switching that's a new word i'm always switching it up i never have it planned it's always just like thrown together last minute but you know what it's a good time it's a party uh, anyway we done here so pff, i hate ending videos i'm so bad but anyway i will see you in the next one